seems that almost every street corner you go by in Istanbul, you're going to see a kebab stand where they're making doner kebabs. Now these are where you see this big stack of marinated meat and they shave it off as it ro rotates. Kind of like a gyro, but it's in Turkey. Now, I don't have a big thing that rotates like that, but I really wanted to make a doner kebab. So I'm kind of making, let's say an inside out doner kebab, the way we're dealing with the meat, because I'm dealing with um, flank steak right now about a pound and I'm going to do the shaving first before the marinating and before the cooking. We'll see how that works. It's going to be kind of a quick and easy downer kebab and that's what we try to do here in the Cook Like a Bastard Kitchen. Find things that you might want to make but are really too complicated to. So we're going to start now. I'm going to start by cutting this meat really thinly and I recommend that you freeze your meat just a little bit of you know, maybe an hour before you um, decide to cut it, it makes the cutting a lot easier. And making thin, thin slices here. So this is going to marinate overnight. So you're not going to be eating this today, but tomorrow, 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 you'll be able to get it. And it's really quick once you, once you start making it tomorrow, because it's only going to be like three minutes under the broiler. So you got about a pound of flank steak. Okay, now for the marinade. Now I'm going to take a couple of onions here. And I, I don't, you don't want to um, chop them up too coarsely in the food process, but just a little bit, because you're going to be kind of squeezing these things. Um, and you, you, want the, you want to get the juice, and you want to make them a little more translucent, and you make sure you're getting juice in the marinade. But... I found just cutting them up and squishing them that hard was really too much work. And this is a really about uh, easy, easy cooking here. So I got these guys chopped up here. So, so I end up with a bowl full of, of onions. Let's get all these out here. Nummy marinade goodness. And that's two large onions. And then I'm going to take my masher, potato masher, an onion masher in this case, and kind of squeeze some of the liquid out of here. And this is why you wanted to put it through the food processor, because this is where your exercise comes in. And this helps us save some of the exercise. I'm going to mask these guys until you spill all of it or make them a little more translucent. I'm going to choose this translucent route. So after you've mashed up your onions, you're going to crush one clove of garlic, and we know how much we love that. Mm. I mean, bam. The crew is covering their eyes. They know better. They've learned. Mmm. Bam. It's just fun, fun, fun. So that's going to be part of the marinade. Then we take some little oregano in here. A little curry, a pinch of curry. Some pepper. Some turmeric. Some salt. And mix these guys up here just a little bit. Put a half cup of olive oil. Let me put in about a half a half of a lemon, depending on how big. This is a pretty large lemon, so put half a lemon in here. A couple of tablespoons is what it calls for, but if you put a little more, that's okay. It's going to help break down the meat and also help add to the flavor. Grab your meat here and mix it in. You got some doner kebab goodness happening here. So this is going to sit overnight in your refrigerator and you can cook it up tomorrow and throw it in your pitas and you have a tasty lunch or dinner. Here on Cook Like a Bastard. So after you have marinated your doner kebabs overnight, take them out and lay them out on your broiler tray. And if you want to make this more realistic, at this time you should just slowly spin around while you're doing it. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not much in for realism here. So I'm just going to pop this into my broiler and it's going to be here for just three minutes. So it's going to be pretty quick. Mm -hmm. 
and three minutes is an approximate time once it starts to get crispy you take it out so I can hear it sizzle in there and so after about three three and a half minutes you're going to take this out and you're going to have some Donner Kebab goodness oh yes we do take a look at that that's just about perfect just kind of crispy on the side there Well, that worked out great. Let's just put it into our pitas here and see what these whole Donner Kebab things look like. So after you're done with your broiling, you take out a pita, you cut that in half, and you take some of the goodness of the meat that you've been marinating overnight and grilling. Pop it into here. Then you top it with maybe a little lettuce, a couple of onions, some tomatoes, some peppercini, a little feta, and your tetrazzini sauce. <laughs> when I say tetrazzini, I really mean tzatziki. <laughs> but here's the real test. Wow like just being attacked some square. This is great. We let this marinate overnight. It's very tasty. It's nice and crispy the way it's supposed to be. Wow, I can't take another bite. It's tender. It's good. That is wonderful. This thing came together really great. It was a very simple meal. Once you get past the point that it takes a whole other day. But this was good. It was nummy. I didn't have to do this, you know? And this is what freaked us out about. Because we try to make complicated things easy. Yeah, that's what we try to do. Sometimes we make easy things complicated. But this turned out really great. We're very happy the way the Donner Kebab turned out here and cook. Like a bastard. Cook like a bastard today. David, TV.